Hi, welcome back to Creating Craft with Katie. If you are a new visitor, I'd love to have you subscribe. Today, we're going to make an Easter ladder decor. It was inspired by a piece I found in Home Goods. For this project, you're going to need uh, a set of letters. I used these five inch letters from Michael's, they were on clearance at $1.57 a piece. You're going to need stickers and a piece of wood for the title, for the, for, for the happy part. These I used uh, stickers also from Michael's, these were Recollections 317 a packet and used a coupon on each of them. You're going to need two pieces of wood, five foot in length. These were furring strips used for framing items. Also, you're going to need seven pieces at seven in, at 10 inches wide. Um, I used some scraps left from the other piece because this comes in a 12 foot piece from Lowe's at just under $5. We also had some white pieces left from a project that we'd done, so we utilized those. You're going to need paint. Uh, I like to use the Waverly chalk paint from Walmart. The letters I will be painting in plaster and the rungs I will be painting in a mixture of elephant and silver lining uh, to get a little bit darker grey than this one. So you're going to be needing a paintbrush, you need a hammer, you need 14 nails to attach the rungs to the ladder and you're going to need a cup hook for the top of the letter and an eye hook to go in the rung to hang the letter on. These were from Walmart. Uh, the cup hooks come in a set of eight for 97 cents and the eye hooks a set of 10 for 97 cents. Uh, the nails I had just in our craft supplies the first thing you're going to do is to measure out your strip to where you want the rungs to sit. I measured the letters, the space needed for the eye and the hook, and then I measured that and left a space of seven and a half inches for this five inch letter. Then I took into account the width of the rung. I wish the rung to sit an inch off the side of the ladder and I drew in and made marks where the rungs were going to go as you can see. I'm going to attach the rungs to the ladder before I paint anything and add any hardware. I'm going to attach the rungs one side and then the next side. I line up my one inch with the edge, the outside edge of this and this piece will match up with the mark that I have made. These nails are just about the length of the two pieces of wood but I am putting a small, small piece of wood underneath just to make sure I don't go into my island. I am lining it up, put the nail in the centre. I don't mind the nails being on the front, it's going to be a little farmhouse style anyway. rung attached. I will attach the rest of the rungs and then come back and do the second half showing you. You don't need to listen to me banging away on the hammer at every single piece. Thank you. So I have attached all seven rungs to the first side. Obviously it gives you a little leeway 
so that you can line it up with the other. Now I'm going to attach the second side of the ladder, matching up the lines I've made. I'm not going to do this on camera, you don't need to hear me hammering away. I uh, will come back when I've completed the second side. Now I have completed the second side. Obviously if you have a tool such as a brad nailer it would be a lot easier to add your 14 uh, nails. But we don't all have one. We do have one but I wanted to be able to do it with a hammer and nails just to see how I could get it done. Now. If you don't, these were cut by uh, a mitre saw, luckily I have a husband who likes tools and uh, so it was really easy for us to do this. Otherwise, uh, when you buy your furring strips, you could um, ask in your local uh, big, depart big home improvement store um, and they may have somebody available to cut your pieces or make friends with someone who has a mitre saw. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the rungs and the sides of the ladder. Now I'm using chalk paint mixed together. Chalk paint is very forgiving, it requires no prep uh, so I don't have to sand anything down and as I want it to look a little farmhouse I don't mind if it has a few dings in it. Um, the other good thing with using chalk paint is there are no fumes so unlike using spray paint you don't need to go outside. I'm using a foam brush, a mixture of the paint and all I'm literally going to do is to paint the ladder. Now nobody wants to watch paint dry so I will paint this and come back to you when I've finished. So now this is with one coat, it's not quite dry yet. Uh, for this video I won't be painting the back of the rungs um, just simply for time. I'll probably go back and paint them afterwards. So the ladder itself is going to be left to dry and then using a different foam brush and the plaster coloured Waverly chalk paint, which I don't know if I remember I told you you can get from Walmart, it's less than $2.00. A bottle I'm going to be painting the letters now again everybody knows what painting looks like so I will come back when I've completed all six letters so I have painted the letters spelling Easter and I'm going to leave those to dry the next thing I'm going to do is make the happy sign to go at the top of the ladder uh, this is a piece of plywood that uh, has been designed to look like shiplap. Uh, it was spare from another project of mine and I thought that it would fit nicely on the top. You can use anything you like to make this happy word. Uh, you could freehand it, you could use uh, stencils. Um, I didn't want to do either of those so I got the stickers from Michaels. So that I can get the placement correct, I actually cut them out off the sticker sheet and I have made a mark right in the centre here so that I can line up the first P in the centre and work outwards both ways to, uh, to get the letters even. These are just very simple, just in the scrapbook department they are the recollections brand they have lots and lots of different styles i happen to like this one and so i'll place the p and then we'll work outwards There's plenty of space between these letters, or so there's a lot of room on this piece for uh, a wider placement. You could put them as close together as you like. Just make sure that you line up the bottom 
of the letters. You have to press down a little on this as the wood is textured and so you want to make sure that the stickers adhere well to it. And there is the happy, which will go on the top rung of the ladder when everything is dry and we add the hardware. So now the ladder has dried and it's time to add the eye hooks. Uh, I've done one because I wanted to see how easy it was to do. And we will, I'll show you the second one. So the gap between the two rungs is five inches. So your hook is going to go at two and a half so make a little mark. To make it easier to screw in, I'm going to make a little guide hole using a nail. And then get the eye hook, place it in the guide hole and start to screw it in, pressing till you feel it start to bite into the wood. For this project, we only need to go as far as the end of the screw line. To make it easier when it gets tight, you can use a tool such as a screwdriver, anything like that will do to help turn you could use a nail anything that you have on hand going down with the join at the back because the letter will hook on. The letters are dry. Again, for video purposes, I didn't do the backs, but I did do all the insides. Uh, I may go back in my own time and do the back. Uh, we are going to add the cup hook to this so again I'm going to make myself a guide hole using a nail don't want to go too far got to give the uh, screw a chance to grip now this one we have to do with our fingers because obviously it's only a half a hook not a full hook not a full circle. And this time you're going to go down till you get to the lip. And I want 
the hook to be facing this way because it will then hook on to the eye. I will continue with the rest of the letters of film. So I have added the cup hooks to all of the letters. I will show you the completed item when it's next to my fireplace where it's going to go. We need to attach the happy to the top. Now, I actually had an idea when I first looked at this that this could be interchangeable. You could change out the sign at the top, the letters, any as long as it spells, it's five, six letters. You could say happy spring. You could make it for Valentine's and have hanging hearts. Uh, you could uh, use, there are plenty of wooden uh, craftable items in the craft stores such as Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, even Walmart, that uh, it would be easy to switch out. Um, so I wanted this happy sign to be able to be removed. So I wanted to use um, an item that would be a glue that would be super easy, not uh, E6000 because that will stick completely and not uh, hot glue because that doesn't last very long. So what I decided to do was to use my trusty score tape. To work out where I needed the tape, I turned the ladder to the back and I placed the sign in the centre and drew around the two parts where it was going to stick. Then I'm simply going to take my score tape. Again, no scissors required. Take it down the edges and one in the centre. You can get wider pieces of score tape and so you could actually cut out a whole piece. However, as I want this to be removable, I'm only putting enough to hold it in place. It will hold it in place well, but it will still be able to be removed if you wish to change out the sign. So press it down so that it actually attaches to the wood. Remove the guide paper, the transfer paper. leaving you with six strips of adhesive. Level up the sign at the top and press it in place. The good thing with this is that many paper crafters will already have had score tape in their paper crafting arsenal and if you wish to step out of the box and do a different type of crafting I'm trying to show you the different applications that you can use this on. Again, this is not sponsored. I am the design team lead for the challenge. However, I was not paid uh, to make this video. I just use it so much and I thought that there's so many fans of it out there that might like to see extra uses for it. Here you can see the ladder in place by my fireplace. Now I haven't uh, fully decorated for Easter yet, so it will look different. Uh, I'll be sure to give you a quick tour when I have finished, which will be in the next couple of days. Uh, but I really like how it turned out. Obviously, if you are not into the farmhouse look, then you can do it in any, any colors you like. Uh, any size you like the larger the letter obviously the taller the ladder will be uh, but this was a super easy project 
Um, I mean, I'm not a woodworker, but um, if I can do it, anyone can do it, I can assure you. It was not difficult, and in total, it cost me less than $20. Um, and the one I saw in Home Goods was $39.99. So I got it for half price and it was customized to my decor colors. Uh, if it, you changed your decor, it would be really easy to just paint over the frame of the ladder again to the color that you like. And as I showed you, the uh, the sign is removable along with the letters. You can switch them out for other pieces of hanging wooden decor uh, so it could be used throughout the year. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I'd love you to give me a thumbs up uh, and leave a comment if you like. Uh, if you are new here and haven't subscribed, I really would love more subscribers. I'm a really, really new small channel. Uh, and the feedback I've been getting has been fantastic and I'd love to continue making these videos for you. So thanks very much and uh, I will see you all again later.